morning, Dr. Vikram. Good morning. Dr. Vikram, uh, uh, these days many people, they are suffering with the uh, stiffness of joints and uh, uh, kind of rheumatoid arthritis symptoms. Basically, what this disease is and how it uh, basically someone suffers with this. Uh, rheumatism uh, is a very widespread disease nowadays, uh, especially in females of middle age, it is prominent. Uh, the main symptoms are stiffness in the smaller joints. Whenever uh, you get early in the morning, your back is stiff, your neck is stiff, mm -hmm. and the joints are stiff. So okay. you feel difficulty in moving them, moving the fingers, moving the joints. Yes. So this stiffness uh, is a major symptom of uh, rheumatism. So if we go and test the blood they, and ask for rheumat RA factor, mm -hmm. it can be positive, it can be negative also, but it is still called rheumo. It is called seronegative rheumatoid arthritis. Okay. So it can be, it cannot be there in the blood. I mean, RA factor is negative, but still you are suffering from rheumatism. It is called rheumatic syndrome. Okay. So, and uh, in the major symptom, as I told you, there is stiffness, stiffness and uh -huh. heaviness, fatigue, uh -huh. argy, tiredness, and it is uh, pain is like a scorpion sting. It is severe pain in, in the, the joints. Okay. As if it's some scorpion is biting your yeah, oh. joints. Okay. So, Dr. Vikram, this uh, rheumatoid arthritis, is it genetic or is it uh, self-caused disease? It is genetic also, it is hereditary also, but uh, in according to Ayurveda, uh, the major, one of the major causes or aggravation factors mm -hmm. uh, is uh, consumption of uh, heavy, sticky and cheesy, greasy food. Okay. It, is, it goes inside the body whenever you are consuming such uh, such food. It goes inside the body. There is lack of digestive fire, and the digestion process is not right, and that produces uh, ama. Ama is toxins. Okay. In uh, Ayurveda, we call this rheumatism as amvat. Okay. okay. Amvat. Vata is for pain, hmm. and am is for stiffness. Okay. And stickiness. Ama is like a mucus. So okay, inside the joints. Inside the joints. So this is how we explain in Ayurveda. And uh, these endotoxins or ama that travels inside the body and, and uh, engulfs the joints, mm -hmm. and, and then it sticks to them. And okay. They, uh, and then they are not able to move. So when you are moving in the sun or get up in the morning and you start moving, okay. slowly, slowly the stiffness uh, slows down. It reduces. Yes. Okay. So this is uh, the main sign of a rheumatoid arthritis, mm -hmm. and uh, there are very good Ayurvedic remedies. Uh, so, uh, what herbs help in this condition? There are, as I told you, very good herbs. Mm -hmm. uh, Boswellia is uh, called Shalaki in Ayurveda. So, uh, and another herb is curcumin, is turmeric. Okay. Turmeric and Boswellia combination is Boswellia curcumin. Mm -hmm. I am using in my rheumatoid arthritis patients. Yes. Curcumin is a wonder herb, miracle. Curcumin is antibiotic, antiseptic, anti-infective, anti-arthritic, uh, anti anti-inflammatory. Very mm -hmm. strong and very potent. Okay. And if you are suffering from any pain and very infl any inflammation or swelling around the joints, just take uh, this Boswellia curcumin or, or turmeric. Mm -hmm. It's a common Indian spice. Okay. So Boswellia curcumin capsules I'm using. And another is Aam Vat Antak Churna. It's a powder of uh, that is specific for Aam Vat. Okay. Yeah, it's mm. a combination of, of different herbs mm -hmm. I'm using for my Aam Vat patients, for rheumatoid arthritis patients. Okay. And Ashwagandha is another herb. Ashwagandha is very good for rheumatoid arthritis. And uh, Ashwagandha root is used. Many people, they use Ashwagandha leaves. But Ashwagandha leaves are not effective. Ashwagandha root... Uh, especially the extract of the root, not the powder. Simple plain powder is also effective, but it takes uh, six months or one year. Okay. But if you take uh, extract of the root, mm -hmm. then you get the results within within one week or ten days or fifteen days. Okay. So I'm using all this combination. Uh -huh. and there is another uh, herb, Hakam Churna is there. Uh -huh. So these three four herb, uh, herbal combination, uh, rheumatoid arthritis care package is is what I call it. Okay. So, so, Dr. Vikram, uh, there are uh, many patients who say that uh, they are feeling their joints are getting uh, weak or uh, something, deterioration is going on. Is yeah, it due to is, lack of calcium or uh, is yeah. it due to some um, uh, cause of arm bath only? Ama, 
as it sticks to the joints it help it deteriorates the joint condition it is a degenerating disorder okay it uh, slowly slowly the joints they start to degenerate oh. and, uh, there is calcium depletion also from the mm -hmm. joint there is weakness in the bones there is osteoporosis mm -hmm. also okay. and there is uh, abnormality in the joint structure okay the degenerative changes sometimes they are permanent also if there is dislocation of joints Yeah, I have seen many patients. Yeah. Their joints bend. And disability uh, yes. that can cause permanent disability also oh. if not treated in time. Okay. So I would recommend uh, uh, exposure to sun as I always recommend to all my patients. Mm -hmm. It is sun is a free source of vitamin D, and we are not taking it. Okay. So vitamin D is very essential for bone health. Even if you are taking calcium, too much calcium consuming. but it is not going inside the bones until and unless you, unless you have vitamin d uh -huh. in your body there okay. are special rays when they they are on your skin okay there is stimulation of uh, uh, some some process that mm -hmm. makes vitamin d <laughs> then you have vitamin d okay. in your body then the that vitamin d goes inside the intestine and takes away takes the calcium and deposits it into the bones Oh, and then your bones become stronger so this, this is, is a natural important. source very natural very source very important to expose your body to vitamin that's why you always prefer to shoot outside <laughs> that's good yeah. so dr vikram uh, uh, if someone use these herbs he will be uh, free from this arthritis condition permanently or it's a kind of uh, uh, ayurvedic medicine for maintenance only in many cases it is for maintenance but in many cases it is uh, permanently uh, it can permanent solution okay permanent uh, solution for the problem okay so it is better to use rather than taking steroids uh, taking uh, strong immunosuppressant drugs okay turmeric is one of the wonderful herbs which is having uh, immunomodulation properties immunomodulating properties not immunosuppressant mm -hmm. so it is modifying the immunity disease we call disease mo modifying agents in allopathic in modern medicine they use uh, disease modifying agents Okay. But turmeric is a very good replacement. That's good. So it's a wonderful. So thank you very much, Doctor Vikram, for this information. It will help Thank the viewers you. definitely. Thank, thank you. you very much.